Hey guys, it's Irish again. Um, I thought I would show you where I've gone since the last video. What was it yesterday? Um, I finally installed i3, so everything's working. I got my awesome fonts. I got some, my Conky. For whatever reason, in my HL window manager, I have to use Dyson 2 as it. But for whatever reason, um, if we go... I took a picture of it just to show you guys what it looks like. For whatever reason, um, there's no bar up here, and I don't understand why, so until I figure that out, I'm going to stay on i3. Um, but I thought it would be an interesting idea to show you guys my final touches. Um, so there's two more um, packages that I need to get. One of them is Dropbox and the other one is NCPCPP I believe it is called. So if we do a uh, EIX uh, Dropbox uh, it's going to be the one, it's going to be right here. So if I do a Emerge, P is for pretend, P is for verbose, Dropbox, and then over here, I'll show you the same thing uh, for the other one. So it's N C M C P P, I believe it's called. So these two, why I'm showing you these two is that they share a common use flag which is the ICU flag. So I thought I'd show you what to do. Now there are two different ways for me to do this. I can uh, in a sense put this in my make.com file uh, under the use flags and then do it I guess globally um, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry it is the NCMPCPP so uh, let's go to that one. And then, uh, or I can do this individually to the packages that require the ICU. But I believe uh, many other packages that I will want to get in the future actually depend on ICU. So, um, letting this work out here. So yeah, as you can see here, um, that the dev-libs-boost requires ICU, and then over here, there are a couple of dependencies uh, that I need to change, which are the use flags here, and then the Qt core also requires ICU. So what I'm going to do... Uh, first off is go to my um, make.com so it's going to be in the Etsy portage and then make.com normally uh, I've been watching a uh, couple videos from Das Gregor and then from Linux for you and me and they have some awesome guides especially Das Gregor he has been on Linux for or Gentoo for 14 years so he knows uh, you know mostly the ins and outs of Gentoo so um, but his philosophy is to keep this use flags nice and short because if there's any different uh, if there's a package that will break then it could affect it could be a domino effect so I'm going to try to do uh, what he does and keep my use flags uh, nice and short but I'm going to put it here so it's going to be ICU I'm going to save this and then um, I did watch a video of his that suggests that after you put a use flag in that you should do a deep clean if you're going to use it globally so that's what I'm going to be doing so to do that it's going to be sudo emerge a for ask, V for verbose, and then U for update, N, capital N for 
new use flags, then D for deep. And this was what I was going to do tomorrow on Friday, but might as well do it now. So, and then I don't think you need this, but I like it. Then world. So this will calculate the dependencies, and then this will go and upgrade any of the libraries. Uh, this will do a deep clean. And then hopefully uh, this will work. So I only need to put in one additional package. So hopefully this will uh, it won't take too long. Uh, but I'm going to pause the video here. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so actually on Tuesday when I was doing, uh, trying to figure out my Dyson issue, I did a deep clean. So this isn't going to show a lot. But... Uh, uh, as you see, there's going to be a five reinstalls just because I did put the ICU uh, flag in there. So it's going to update, reinstall SQLite, lib, XM, 12, QT Core, HarfBuzz, OpenDAP, and then, yeah, Open... LDAP. So I'm going to say, uh, actually, I'm going to say no really fast. Uh, I'm going to do it at time. Uh, that's what I've learned from several other Gentoo users. So this will show you um, actually how long this will take. So I'm going to put time in front. And then there's another flag, an interesting flag. If you don't want to see the um, code going up you can do the dash dash quiet which I misspelled I... so you could put the dash dash quiet in and you won't be able to see the scrolling but you will see the where you're at so you could say emerging 5 of 16 or something like that and so you can see uh, what your progress is so I will be back once the uh, this is all the way done and then we'll continue okay so it did, looks like it's done and uh, this is what I was uh, trying to explain so if you put that uh, dash dash quiet uh, then uh, it will just show you what's merging and then what's installing so it's pretty nice uh, so looks like I don't know if it did do this, but it looks like about 1,200 seconds, so not too bad. Uh, I actually made dinner in that time, so... All right, so what we're going to do um, is then emerge PV. We'll do Dropbox first. And then you'll notice that only one, th only one use flag uh, is needed and no longer does the um, ICU be needed because we put it in our use flag. So while this is calculating, um, one of the guys on uh, LDC Higher C channel was helping me out. Uh, uh, there is a website that if you go uh, to it, it will tell you if you're looking for a package um, in the overlays, then uh, this is a pretty good website. However, there is a way to do it through the terminal. So I'll show you uh, the website really fast. So it's the Gen2 Portage Overlay. Um, and then if we wanted to look for TTY Clock, uh, it will tell you what overlay is in. So it's this one. But if you wanted to do it strictly through the terminal, if you do, if you have EIX installed, so it'd be EIX dash R and then TTY clock, it'll tell you that it's right here. Uh, so it's pretty nice. Uh, I like it. And then if there's certain dependencies or certain use flags that you want to look up, say, uh, so it would be under E query. And then you put a U, and then we'll say RxVT Unicode, which is my terminal. Uh, you just click that, 
and it will tell you that yeah I have 256 color alt font and then it gives you an explanation instead of having to go to the website and trying to figure it out that way so it's uh, a very, I like it very much it is helpful so uh, let's go back so as you can see the only thing I need to do now is put the lib PR CRE uh, in there so what I need to do then is create a package.use so I would do say vim etsy portage package use slash uh, then I just call it the name of the package I'm sure there's a way to do it otherwise like put it in one single one but uh, I prefer to separate them like this so oh, let's do this in a different tab here so so I know which one to write so what we're gonna do is say dev libs libre not lib p c r e dash eight point three nine and then we'll just put this in so what it's saying is the use flag PR CRE 16 is needed for this package so now if we save this and then reissue and then reissue the Dropbox all the use changes should be gone and then I could install the 31 packages so hopefully this will go a little quicker uh, while that's going let's pretend to install the other one this one and then oh, okay so yeah okay so it looks like I did something wrong So if I decide to install, let's install this one uh, instead. So because I got rid, because I added the ICU, this one is good to go. So what I'm going to do is just go back, say AV. So it's ask and then verbose. And then I should be able to... Uh, install this even though I have a invalid thing here so yep so we'll say yes and then this will install so there's one of three so we will fix uh, this one here so we'll go back vim let's see portage package use what was it the lib p c r e okay so what i forgot to do is hit the equal sign i believe and then we'll go back Again, this is a learning process. Uh, it's uh, definitely a culture shock, I, I would think, because there's a lot of stuff that would just work out of the box on Arch, um, and I'm still trying to figure out some of the stuff. So one of the ones, like it would show transparent, is a program called Slurm. Uh, I have a alias here. So this would actually be transparent, so you could see the wallpaper in the back. But as you can see, it's this bluish color. So let me know if you, uh, if any of you guys understand what's going on with that one. Uh, I would like it to be, you know, back how it used to be, uh, where I could just 
it was black and you can see it here. All right, still. Okay, while this is still going, we'll hit exit here. And we'll go back into this. We'll put the oh, we'll put the greater sign and then we'll save this again. We'll re oh we'll rerun this and hopefully this will work. I'm sure I'm doing something incorrect, but again, this is an awesome learning curve, so... Because I did install uh, KeePass, which has all my... Um, uh, which is this program. A lot of people use KeePass X, but I prefer the original KeePass. And then it will show you uh, all your passwords, so you don't have to remember everything from every site. So that is definitely a very helpful uh, program. So let's go back here. All right, while well, that's still going, uh, I'm just going to pause this and uh, come back when this is done. Okay, it took me a while to figure this out, but I went into the Gen2 chat IRC channel and they helped me out. So what I did was I did some typos. So so as you can see on the other side here, I reloaded Dropbox. So what we're going to do is a time sudo emerge av Dropbox. So this should come back up again uh, without any error messages. So I should be able to do 31 packages. Uh, and then on the other side I did the ncmcpp which I do have a a shortcut and alias for it. So if we go into my music, uh, let's. Oh, I think I forgot to actually put it in. So, so if we rename this, close this out. <clears throat> now go to music. Here's my music. <clears throat> So I believe everything has been started. So if we do So if we play it, it should play, but uh looks like it's not playing right now. I'll figure that out, but it's installed, so that's always good. <clears throat> so we just need to install Dropbox. And then everything is good to go. So you know, again, this is still a learning experience. I'm sure I made some mistakes already besides my typos and everything, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys my final desktop environment uh, besides it not being HL. So if you guys have any other advice, uh, please put them down in the comments. And thank you for the last uh, video. You guys gave me a lot of encouragement, um, you know, thanking me or... Uh, congratulating me that I installed Gen2 and everything. If you want to follow me on Google+, Plus, I am on Google+. Plus. Let me get that up really fast. Uh, it's just going to be under my real name. It's going to be Michael Boyle, and it's going to be a guy riding a unicycle. So I'm usually on Google+, Plus more often than anything else. Um, so if you guys want to follow me there, I will be making a lot more posts and probably try to do a little bit more vlogging here with Gen2. Um, and then I will make a video once I have Arch installed on my other laptop. Uh, I have uh, some ideas on the Arch side. So I will see you guys in the next video.